Welcome back. The next group of lessons is all about setting up our database and it's always good to take a little time to plan this out before rushing into the code. Our Hello World component is nice but it doesn't really do anything. So let's expand it to manage a list of welcome messages that you might show on your site. We will want to support putting messages in categories and also saying hello in multiple languages. Of course, we'll want to include the usual published, ordering and view access level features. We'll want to support search engine friendly URLs and page metadata. We'll want the normal check-in and check-out handling. And finally, we'll want to support recording which user created and modified messages and when they did that. OK, so let's go over the field names that we should use to support all the data, as there are a number of standard field names that plug right into the Joomla framework. We usually give the primary key name ID, and we use that to reference the record when retrieving the data. I mentioned we're going to support categories, so we want a foreign key to the categories table called category ID. We'll have a title for the message, so we'll give that the name title. Among other things, this is usually used in the backend lists as the link to edit a record. A companion to the title is the alias field, and that's used in the search engine friendly URLs. The main message text will be contained in a field called body. And in Joomla 1.6, we also started to add a private note field for content maintainers to add simple notes to a record. Next is a block of standard Joomla fields. Published stores the published, unpublished or trash state of the record. Ordering holds an integer for fixed list ordering. Access is a foreign key to the view levels table that controls who can view content. Language is a string that holds a specific language code. Params is used to store optional settings for the record. And the last fields in this block are MetaDesk and MetaKey, and these will hold the meta description and keywords for the record that will be used by the web page. The final block of fields stores editing information about the record. Checked out is a field that holds the user ID for the person that is currently editing the record, and checked out time holds the time when they started editing. Created user ID is the user ID for the person that created this record, and created time holds the time that they did that. Likewise, modified user ID and modified time are the fields holding the user ID and time for who last modified the record. That's a list of the fields we're going to use in the database table. I mentioned a few foreign keys, so let's have a look at those visually. So, there's a master table for a message. The first foreign key is the category ID, and this maps to the ID field of Joomla's master JOS Categories table. Note that when we use the JOS Categories table, the extension field is used to set our categories aside from the other extensions, such as banners or articles. Next we have the language field, and the value of this can either be a star character, meaning that the record is used for all languages, or it can be a seven character ISO code for a specific language, and this is stored in the lang code field in the JOS languages table. Finally, our checked out, created user ID, and modified user ID fields all relate to the ID field in the JOS users table. That sets the basic stage for almost any content based extension you're going to write. In the next lesson, we'll actually create the database fields in our MySQL editor and explain the variable type of each field in detail. See you back real soon.